What's going on everyone, Sviz here, and today we're going to be looking at the Drop Artifact Bloom Ocean Wave Keycap Set. This was sent out to me for review, but my review and opinion remain 100% honest as usual. First, let's dive into the unboxing experience. The cardboard box it comes in is pretty bland, but I don't really mind at this price point. This keycap set retails for $45, but you can often find it on discount at Drop's website. Looking at the first of two trays, you'll notice that the box is very nicely packaged. It has bubble wrap inside to keep the keycaps nice and snug. You'll also notice that the first tray has enough support for like the 60% as well as some function keys. The second tray has extra keys that support many different layouts. I'm not sure exactly which layouts it does support, so please refer to their website for more info. Another thing to notice is that it does include a 7U spacebar for you HHKB users or users that like different layouts. Opening up the tray is pretty easy. You have to find a little groove and you might have to move around a little bit to find that opening. But other than that, the bubble wrap came off nicely with the top part of the tray and you notice how vibrant these keycaps really are. In person they look so much better and the gradient effect looks really really nice. You don't see too many gradients that's available with this nice printing, and I really enjoyed it. You also notice that some of these keycaps are flipped over. The reason for this is the drop trays are actually pretty tight. So if you try flipping them over, you're going to experience some keycaps being a little bit more rised than others. I don't really mind this as it doesn't affect keycap performance whatsoever. Looking at the thickness of these keycaps, they are pretty thick. I don't have any calipers to measure exactly how thick they are, but they're pretty decent. Also taking a look at the die sub, there's a very small amount of bleeding, but other than that it's very nice and crisp. It's what you'd expect from die sub. Opening up the second tray, we can see the amount of different keys that it includes for different supports. You'll also notice that the arrow keys are kind of weird. It includes three of those and the fourth keycap for the arrows is located on a different side of the tray. I'm not sure why this is done and it was quite confusing for me to find it at first, but I did find it. The spacebar does not have as much warping as I thought it would. PPT spacebars typically have some warpage, but it can be fixed easily if you do have that. You can use the hot water method for example. I went ahead and put these keycaps on my tofu acrylic. The reason for this is the tofu acrylic features a really nice RGB underglow. I may do a review on this in the future, and I think it's a great entry level board. It's really easy to build, and the RGB underglow makes it for a really nice effect paired with these keycaps. Even without the RGB on, I think these keycaps go really nicely on the acrylic. Looking at the keycaps while they're fully on the board, you can see how nice this gradient really is. The die sub is consistent, the keycaps look amazing, the whites and the blues are excellent, and I didn't have any issues with it at all. The profile that these keycaps are in are cherry profile as well. One thing to note is that if you're using a board like the GK61 or any boards with north facing switches, there may be interference with cherry profile keycaps. For more info, just search up on YouTube cherry profile interference. I went ahead and plugged this board in. The cable I'm using is from Staywired Cables and thanks to them for sending this out. I've been using it for a while now and really love the cable. The RGB here really gives that nice effect to the keycaps as the board doesn't have RGB on the top. I went ahead and changed it in the software called VIA. Now looking at the texture for the keycaps, they are pretty smooth in comparison to what I've used. Some users may not like this, but I personally didn't mind. The smooth texture is nice for a change and it doesn't change the performance of the keycaps in my opinion. These keycaps really did impress me. They look amazing on my tofu acrylic, the colors are really vibrant and very close to what's on the website. Overall, I think these keycaps are great for anyone on a budget and in general. Aside from the smooth texture, I didn't really have any other things that I disliked about it and it's a great steal considering how many different color options are available on their website as well. For $45, you're getting a set that's always in stock, PBT, die sub, and really thick with consistent legends. This concludes my review, and I'm going to end it off with some sound tests. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for the support lately. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.